Hold up, crew. Fearless Leader coming at you again with another episode. Uh, I'm getting back to the biggest breakdowns in our most recent war with PinoyClash.com. Um, <coughs> so, uh, this is their number, this is going to be their numbers 15 and 16. Uh, number 16 actually has a decent anti dragon layout. Uh, actually, looks like some thought went into this base. Uh, the air sweeper covers three air defenses. Each air defense covers four storages. Uh, so this is going to be a really tough base to dragon. My next thought would be hogs. Um, the only thing I worry about with hogs is that there's a double bomb set in the core. Uh, that can be avoided, but it's very tricky it's challenging um, my guess is is that there's a Tesla big bomb uh, between air defense and air sweeper on each side of the town hall a third Tesla is most likely down here in front of this mortar and third big bomb I don't know probably on the outside somewhere um, if there's a Tesla on the outside somewhere, then that probably guarantees that there's double bombs in the core. Um, or would I put a big bomb on the outside if I really wanted to mess with a hogger? Maybe here or here, but I doubt it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know on this one. Um, looks like it's pick your poison with which air defense you would zap if you were going to go that route. Um, if you're going to drag in this, I would say come in from probably the southwest side. Uh, handle the clan castle, get it out of the way, commit two air defenses. Um, they're both level six, or they're all three of them are level six, so that's going to make it tricky. Uh, and the clan castle itself is a pretty high hit point building. So you're going to want to drop your barb king down here on the spell factory. And then the spell factory will go down for free before you pull any aggro from either the king or the other cannon. No, nope, just the king. Um, and then drop a dragon up here on this barracks and really cut the funnel, make it really nice and wide. And then um, dragon on the gold mine, elixir collector, other gold mine, dark spell factory, gold mine, army camp, gold mine. And um, it's going to be hard, but save your rages until you get through this first line of defenses, this archer tower and cannon, and maybe even the mortar, um, and then try and drop a rage right where this mortar is, and you should get a two for one action, one rage, and you get two storages covered with it. Um, and then you're gonna wanna heal once those go down because this third air defense will be locking on. Uh, send in your clan castle balloons on the backside and rage them. Uh, you could send them in here at this wizard tower uh, and drop a rage right in the middle of this compartment or so. Um, would be one way to go about it. Uh, that, where does that wizard tower not cover? Now drop them here on this cannon. Because it's just the archer tower that you have to deal with. And then you can drop your second rage on top of this mortar and your balloons will catch it and so will your dragons coming in through the other side. <coughs> um, so yeah, I would say either dragons or hogs on this one and either way it's going to probably be, be, be pretty tricky. Hmm, hog base, no double giant bomb spots. 
<clears throat> um, unless... No, that doesn't work. So yeah, no double giant bombs there. Um, the Teslas are probably here next to the air defense, here next to the mortar, and here next to the cannon. And there's probably a giant bomb here next to the archer tower, and here next to the archer tower, and up here next to the cannon. Um, so yeah, uh, this would be an easy base to go ho. Uh, Mass hog would probably work just as well as anything else. You could probably dragon raid this base too. Uh, I mean, the sweeper covers all three air defenses, but I mean, you could come in on this southeast side here with the barracks, with the barb king up here on the builder hut, and then a dragon down here on this army camp, and um, just rage through. Drop a rage here on the archer tower, and then. A rage over here on the on the wall between Archer or uh, Elixir storage and Gold storage, and heal through the backside. Maybe if you've got the level three dragons, you could probably get away with all rage. Um, so yeah, if you were gonna hog the space though, drop your heals. Either try and trigger these big bombs ahead of time. Or, like, while you're pulling the clan castle. Um, hmm. So, yeah, drop a hog here on the spell factory. Yeah, right there on that leg of the spell factory. And you should be able to get the hog in here, trip the bomb, and pull the clan castle. That's going to be tough, though. Um, you can always send in three hogs to a spot and see where they path and try and trip a bomb that way. Um, you could use... This is where Goho would be effective. Uh, send a golem in here at this archer tower and, like, four wall breakers, and you will get the CC pull and set off a giant bomb and kill the clan castle. Um, all with a goal of your Barb King and your Clay Castle Witches. Uh, so that sounds like a pretty good trait to me. And then just go uh, with a line of hogs or practice your surgical deployment, if you will. Um, so drop three hog, go counterclockwise, and drop three hogs here on this cannon. Three hogs here, three hogs here, three hogs here. And then just heal where there's going to be big bombs. So <clears throat> one heal here on this wall, right between the cannon and the air defense. And a heal here on top of the wizard tower. And you will have gotten through uh, all three giant bombs and still have a heal left over for your hogs on the backside. Um... I'm going to 14. We'll get three out of this one. So this would be another good base to do a go wipe attack on. Or um, a go low wipe. Uh, depends on which side you attack. That's a lot of uh, archer towers in the core with the air defenses. This is... This space screams, do not attack me with dragons. <clears throat> I think Bleach saw something like this a couple wars ago. Where I think he took out an archer tower along with one of the air defenses. Uh, or came pretty damn close to it. <clears throat> um, so yeah, uh, don't dragon raid the space. Do a go wipe. Or hog it. Because there's no spots... They make any damn sense at all for double giant bombs, except for right here. So, easy, right? 
Um, stupid easy clan castle lore. Uh, plenty of anchor points outside the range of any defense. Um, it, yeah, this one is... Just don't dragon raid this one. Go with ground troops. Now, if you got level 2 Valks, this is Town Hall 8. This would be an amazing Wigova. Um, the funnel you'd have to cut would be really, really wide, but it could be done. Um... I just watch the Valks get into the core and absolutely shred it. It's so much fun. Um, I would say come in at the Barb King, just handle it. Drop a golem right here in front of him, let him path over, and then you need wizards literally from Builder's Hut to Builder's Hut. And then all of this stuff in between those two has to go down <clears throat> before you drop your Valks. Or they will get pulled they're drawn like a friggin magnet to the two to two things that are touching two structures that are touching each other um rage them here on the mortar um actually rage the mortar and then while your wall breakers are on their way and um it'll still be there for your valks by the time they get there so let the golem go, let him pound on the wall for a little bit, he'll be fine. Um, so let the golem go, and as soon as the king locks on, drop your wizards. Just like you would do with dragons. Back and forth, back and forth. From hut first, hut first. <clears throat> and then once the golem gets to the wall and starts pounding on it, wherever the wizard tower is shooting, drop your wall breakers away from that. So if your golem comes in here at the mortar, right, wizard tower is going to be zapping this little th three tile area. So try and drop your wall breakers over here on this wall so that they aim for that corner. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so rage through there and then once these structures are all down and those walls are open, release the Valks probably need nine of them anywhere between nine and twelve Valks um, rage them into the core then heal and rage them once they're in the core once they break in and they're in the area with the town hall drop a rage drop a heal and watch the core just disintegrate it's sweet that's a lot of fun um, otherwise uh, I would say if you were going to do a go wipe, just come in at the same side and basically do the same thing. So your choice on your troops, Valks or Pekkas. Um, <clears throat> and you know, whatever you're going to do to handle the clan castle, CC witches, um, extra, uh, extra whizzies for the Wigova, or... Um, or hell, I'll even give you some max Valks if you want to go that route. You can bring three less Valks, and I'll give you three max Valks, and we'll call it good. Um, but yeah, whatever you're going to use to kill off the clan castle. Um, best anchor, well, if you're going to do it, you might as well just drag them over here. Um, and then you can handle it with the golem and the um, kill squad. So that'll do it for this one, crew. I'll get the next one up and out soon. Thanks for watching. I'm out.